I'm going to put this down so nothing happens to it. <laughs> I'd like to point out that I don't always have everybody's attention, but I do work on it. Thank you so much for honoring me. Thank you so much, McGraw-Hill, for sponsoring this award. I want you to know it means so much to teachers because when I started teaching 18 years ago, I would look at other teachers winning and I'd think, what are they doing? What, what could I do to be that kind of person? And, you know, I'm sure there's a lot more I could do and there's a lot more I still plan on doing, but I can tell you that these past 18 years have been great. Um, I started teaching um, 18 years ago and a funny thing happens with life that some of you know, you might do something else. I had planned on a career in law since I was 10 years old and my mom took me to see the movie Love Story. And I was 10, so dying tragically sounded kind of cool, but I really wanted to be Oliver and go to Harvard. I wanted a career in law, and I didn't know that that career in law was going to be street law. But it, it's, that's me for the last 18 years, the street law teacher. And I lived up to my childhood dream because it's put me in law in so many ways, so many meaningful ways. And I do have a Harvard t-shirt, it's from a campus tour, but hey. <laughs> I am honored to be the 2014 Street Law Educator of the Year, and it means a lot to me. The thing I loved about street law is it was real. And, and I don't want to hurt like math people's feelings or anything like that, but what I have been teaching kids is real, practical, meaningful things, because regardless, I've never used the algebra, ever. But we are all, that's so bad, I'm sorry. I'm just not very good in math. <laughs> we are all part of a family, whether we want them or not. I don't mean that to my aunt and uncle who I love. I, we, we are all gonna buy things, pop rocks, iPods. We're gonna go into contracts, good and bad. And there's a part of us that likes to know about the best of people, which law tells those stories, and the worst of people. I think that one of the things that I always think about with street law is it's something kids can walk out of my room with and have meaning. And I always ask myself, what, what can I say to them to help something in their life? I always tell them, I, I say it in this very serious voice, kids, this is it for me. I'm not getting out of here and going to college. You're it. Th this is it. And, and I'll be dead and all the things I know if you don't take it. But I mean, street law is practical, real information for kids. So I started teaching street law in the inner city. I loved it. I I'm so thankful to those students from Sumner High School and Carnahan High School and I'm so thankful that I got to teach street law. When I went there, the principal said, we're thinking about starting this program, street law. Do you think you'd be interested? And I was like, is this perfect or what? I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to teach law. And here I was. And it was amazing. It was amazing. I started mock trial in the classroom. And after that, our kids competed at the state, local, and regional levels. In fact, she didn't toot her own horn, but you just heard from the best witness of the 18th district. <laughs> oh, she, the light, she's, she's over here. Her name's Molly, and I'd like to point out to you, even though she went to Washington, D.C., her brief is still due, like everyone else's, on Monday. <laughs> if you'd like to help her, she'll be available, but she has a brief due. All right. I worked with youth in government, and we had the teen attorney general, the, the teen mayor. These were things that came out of street law. I wanted my kids to think and to feel and to care. So I told them I could name every one of Ted Bundy's victims. I wanted them to know that Polly Kloss wasn't just the three strikes you're out victim, but she was the bravest little girl I'd ever heard about. I wanted my kids to care. And we had real conversations about real things. And I would try to teach them about, of course, their rights in the Constitution, but we kind of skipped that part because we couldn't wait to get to criminal law because we kind of have that creepy fascination with serial killers. And 
I love it when we can talk about things that matter. And on a serious note, those of you that gave tonight, you're amazing. I can tell you it matters. And I want to take us somewhere else for a minute. You can imagine in 18 years of teaching, especially many of them in the inner city, that there's things I've seen and heard from kids that break your heart. And every year I teach the unit on sexual assault, and every year there's a student that trusts me with their story. And one year it wasn't an event in the past. It was the end of the school year, I was packing my room, I was looking forward to summer, couldn't wait to shake the dust for a couple of months. And one of the seniors that had graduated a couple months earlier came up, a couple weeks, excuse me, earlier, came up to me and said, Mrs. Duffy, I was looking for you. And, you know, I'm doing stuff. I'm like, hey, yeah, hi, congratulations, have fun. And she said, I want you to know I did what you said. And I didn't quite catch it at first. And she said, Mrs. Duffy, I want you to know I did what you said. I was that girl Saturday that was abducted from the bus stop on my way to the airport to work at Cinnabon. And I did what you said. Remember when you taught us that unit in street law and sexual assault? And I did what you told us that, and I, I reported the rape and they did arrest him. And when you have a moment like that and so many other moments, I mean, they told me to kind of keep it short, and I'm not very good at that, but you know you, you know what a difference you make when you put the law, because it's in every single part of our life. I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm not following this very well. I've, I lost where I was, but I just wanted you to know that street law has been the foundation of my teaching. It's made me the teacher I am. I've had a richer experience as a teacher. It brought me into other programs. It, it, because street law is everything we are, and it helps kids transition from being these teenagers who say, you know, I have a right to not wear a uniform, or I, you know, I can say what I want, or the police or the extent of the law in my neighborhood, to starting to think about what it means to be part of this society and what, what it means for law to be in their life. So I want you to think about the fact that when you help these programs and you recognize teachers, hopefully the new teachers doing street law may look at something and say, hey, she did that, maybe I could do this. I've had 18 wonderful years. I look forward to seeing what's coming up next. And the thing I love is street law extends in every direction. And on my refrigerator at home, there's a little card and it says, dear Mrs. Duffy, please, Next Saturday, would you come at 8 o'clock to my law school graduation? Because if it wasn't for you, law class, and you making me do mock trials so I would pass, I wouldn't be graduating from law school. I think that says it all. Thank you again for honoring me.